aerodynamics make up a large part of the performance of our race car. Key things to look for, downforce and drag. If you ever put your hand out the window, you can feel the air push it back into the car, right. that's drag. But downforce was like an airplane inverted. So an airplane takes off, a race car pushes down into the ground. That's why it's called downforce. The more downforce your car makes, the more grip it's gonna transfer through the tires into the racetrack, the faster you go. Downforce on a race car is made mostly by this piece right here. This is called the lower splitter. You can't really see it except for the very front edge and it makes over 50% of the downforce on the car. Now to go with that is the rear spoiler. Between the two, the cars make almost 2,000 pounds of downforce at 200 mile an hour. Of course, we're always trying to get rid of drag. Drag slows our cars down, especially at Daytona and Talladega. Constantly drafting allows us to find higher top end speeds, get to the front, lead the race and win. What you see on the top, roof laps and shark fins that go across the top left side of the car. So these devices are made to slow the car down in a spin and put it back down on the ground make the racing safer for everyone. Whenever you're leading the race, you have clean air. So clean air means that literally you have no one in front of you to disturb the air. If you've ever been on the freeway and you can just hear the noise and hear the air rush by as a big tractor trailer comes around you, that's dirty air. It moves a race car around dramatically. So being up front, having that clean air, very, very important for us. Well, hopefully at the next race, you get a lot of clean air, buddy. That's my plan. Downforce is key in any motorsport. Check it out at 300 miles per hour in a Nitro Funny Car here. And for all things Snap-on, be sure to subscribe.